Fanshawe a third win in this race. The runner-up last year, Dream of Dreams, over on the far side, Hello You Zane. The winners of 49 races between them, sprinters in the gate. And they're off in the Diamond Jubilee. It was a very alert beginning for a low Yumzane who claims the early lead and skips on already by a couple of lengths. However, trying to engage over on the far side, Sands of Mali, the two coming towards the stand side rail are breathtaking look, followed by Cardem. Sands of Mali is running a solo right over on the far side of the course. The bigger group at the moment have been headed by Hello Yumzane, who's now beginning to come across towards the other two against the near side rail, being followed by Skeptical and also the grey shine so bright. Right, who is then being followed by one master. At the moment, the Tin Man is the back marker. Dream of Dreams is also towards the rear of the field, together with Speak in Colours. They're racing on down towards the final quarter mile. Sands of Mali still right there in the firing line, right over on the far side. May still just have the lead to Cardem, who's towards the near side rail. Now Skeptical has every chance. Frankie Dottori urging him on alongside Hello Yumzane as they flash inside the final furlong. Cardem against the rail, taken on by Skeptical. Hello Yumzane still there between them. Skeptical just has the lead over Hello Yumzane. Dream of Dreams is coming very late on the scene. Hello Yumzane rallying as they hit the wire. Close between Hello Yumzane near side, Dream of Dreams the far side. Skeptical just ran out of petrol. He finished in third, followed home by Cardam and then one master. Sands of Mali who ran the solo down the centre of the course and then Speak in Colours. Hello, Yumzane, who was away so alertly in the hands of Kevin Stott, has rallied close home to give Kevin his first winner at Royal Ascot, a win here for Kevin Ryan. And it's Hello, Yumzane, who gets the head bob at four to one and takes the diamond jubilee. Big for Kevin Ryan, but huge for the man on board. Kevin Stott, talented footballer, brilliant jockey, Girlfriend Megan Nichols will be punching the air, I'm sure. And did he win this contest right from the off, Jason? Yeah, there's every possibility that the B of the back the early stages. So from stall two, he's absolutely pinged the lids. And look at that. That's a, that's a length and a half, two length advantage on the whole field as they came away from the gates. And if you can get away on the B of the bang, Linford Christie always used to say it in the 100 metres, well, this is exactly the same, and he's won by the smallest of margins. Oh, it got really close and really tight at the end there, didn't it? Sands of Mali in splendid isolation, the rest of the field going over together, and then it just really knuckled down to a fight out between these three. Cardam on the rail, sceptical, really going up. What a, 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 le a, a neck there on the eventual winner, Hello Yumzane, but Kevin Stott doing his absolute best against the might of Frankie de Tori just manages to galvanise him and put his head on the line where it mattered with the fast finishing Dream of Dreams I, on the I, outside. I'll watch back um, Cardem's run with interest as well because it was just one stage where he got set alight at halfway, ended up taking his rider on and um, that may well have put pay to, to his chances as well. The Kevin show, the man on board, great celebration from him. Look at the punch of the air. Kevin Blake as well, double on the day for our tipster as Frankie hits the front and the bookmakers would have been going, oh no, not to Tory. But they have been saved by Hello Yumzane, Kevin Ryan's charge and different colours to we saw on this horse last year. And Brendan and Joe Lindsay, the owners, I hope are watching in New Zealand. And I think I'm right in saying it will be about 2.40 in the morning there. I'm sure they will be watching, though. 100% they will be watching. They're also in partnership with Ara Detraham, and, of course, they would have been very interested in this horse for his breeding purposes. But look at this. Kevin Stott, completely overcome. Biggest Cannot day of his career. It.